guys, the review on the F7 football helmet. You might see a lot of people wearing it now. Yes, I put the cam locks on this also too. You see how far it sticks off. I'm worried about maybe it popping off and hitting starts, but I'm gonna test it out in practice. But if not, I'm cam locked up, baby. I'm just pulling. But I mean, if I can't use it, I mean, it's not gonna be a biggie, but I can put the regular buckles back on that it came with. Um, but I got an Oakley prism visor with it also as well. You see the inside a little bit if you can. It's a lot of blue material. Uh, mine came with the black tectonic plates to match the all black helmet also as well. Um, I had a red one at first that had blue tectonic plates in it. Um, so that's kind of cool that mine has the black on black. My inside of the helmet's still blue though, like the red one was. Um, but I got the Robo face mask. Um, so, I mean, I'm playing semi-pro this year. So, I mean, it should be pretty fun. Um, I haven't played in a while, definitely. Sophomore year, high school. I'm 25 now, so I thought it would be cool to, fun, to play. I'm still, I still play basketball all the time anyway, so I guess I'm still athletic, you would say, but I figure I'm never too old. YOLO, you only live once. That's what it looks like from the back. Uh, it came with the regular scut chin strap also too, which isn't bad. I like it. The Oakley Prism, I usually get Nike visors, but the Oakley Prism I thought was pretty sweet because the NFL is using Oakley Prisms now, and they only can really use Oakleys unless it's unbranded, and because it's the only tinted visor you can use in the NFL because it has like a nice little purple tint to it. It's supposed to help with actually seeing the football a little bit better um, and getting it away from the grass color so it brightens up the leather color, really, of the football. I don't know how it works, but you got to research it yourself, too. Um, I know football went in pretty detailed about it. I thought I thank him for it. Um, so I got this helmet because I see Tyree Kill wearing it. I'm a big Tyree Kill fan. Um, I'm a big Paris Ford fan also too from Pittsburgh. Uh, I think I like how he plays. He hits people pretty hard, um, but at the same time he gets the job done, which I like that. And he wears this helmet also too, so I figured, heck, why not? Um, I also bought the. This face mask, I call it the OG face mask. Uh, first face mask I ever played with, really. Take that back. I had a lineman face mask in Bantam, but the whole team had a lineman face mask. Somebody sponsored us, and they gave us all a lineman face mask. Uh, but other than that, I've been playing with this face mask ever since. Uh, every year. I used to play with the LT face mask also, too, if you guys are familiar with that. Um, but I figured I'd go with the Robo. I've only had this one one other time in high school. But I'm going to be robo, man, out there unless I use that if I play, like, quarterback or, you know, I can change it both out for wide receiver. But a lot of times I like being able to see a lot of the field. So we'll play. if I play defense, I'm going to definitely have that on, though. Um, but as you can see, the bag, they, there's no choice of um, coloring this out make it all black. It comes like this regardless. Um, but, yeah. Cam lock system also came from Green Gator Iron. That's where a sticker came from also, too. Um, but, yeah, the Oakley Prism Visor, where did I get that from? I got that from Amazon, but I think you can get that on Green Gun Iron, too. And Amazon was just easier and a little bit cheaper. Um, but it has the quarter turn also, too, so that way you can get this face mask off easy if you do have a concussion. Also, you can just, once you get these two sides off, now these aren't the quarter turns. These are regular screws, but this one has it, so you just turn it, and there's no screws at the top. It'll come right off. You can get the quarter turns, which are pretty nice. I don't know why mine didn't come with it. I don't know, but we'll see. It is what it is. I'm not tripping on it. Um, I think it looks pretty good. It's a nice helmet. I like the way the cam lock goes. It's pretty nice and simple and easy. Hopefully it works and doesn't pop off when I finally get hit. That would be a blessing. If not, I'll put the regular screws back on. Um, my mouthpiece that I'm going to use this year actually is... The uh, Nike mouthpiece. I'm going to alternate. I'm going to just get a couple mouthpieces. But it's supposed to have the air holes, which it does. But I kind of boiled it wrong. It was a bit down too hard. and closed them up a little bit. But I try opening them up. 
Um, but it does have a string attachment also too, if you want to use that. You can hear me breathe through it a little bit. Um, it does have that pretty cool red interior, like a red bottom, Louis Vuitton baby. But um, Nike, I only got this one just because it was Nike really. It's kind of hard also too, which I don't know if I like or dislike really. But then I got a VEDEX, like most people do. Um, most NFL wears VEDEX mouthpieces. They've been around for, I don't know how long. They've been around since I've been playing band. So, I don't know. But it's pretty soft gel material. It's hard to boil these though, because I did do like a minute of boiling. And you can see my teeth imprint. I mean, if you can even see it on camera, but they're barely there. But that's how big of a hole it is. You can literally probably see me through that. It's pretty crazy. Um, big difference in breathing. But personally, this is because of me. But even then, the air holes in this are just humongous. So. And the material is way softer. But other than that, it does have the strap that's already made to it. You can cut it off if you want. A lot of people cut it off. But I'm going to leave the strap on this one and leave this one strapless for fun. Like 707 or just because I want to strap us mouthpiece that game. You want to be Nike out. Um, I don't wear anything but Nike, so it doesn't matter to me. But... Um, this is how you would put the VEDEX on, actually. Some people go on and under. Some people go this way. I think that's the in professional way right there. And it should definitely be done this way, people. Um, to put it on, all you have to do is stretch it, and the hole will get bigger a little bit. And then you just push the little knob in and pull connected i got the vedex one again because nfl wears vedex you know i'm playing semi-pro i'm not in the nfl i'm not trying to play for no money or anything like that but i wanted to feel like i'm in the league you know what i mean I'm, it's not that i'm broke or anything i can pay like i'm in the league i mean i'm playing for fun so why not plus jalen ramsey always wears them and he's one of my favorite uh, defensive players him and uh also two pair of fours um they're real good people who can guard and also they do hit so i like that uh, I thought that was a pretty cool mouthpiece. And then, again, I got the Nike just because I wanted the Nike mouthpiece to swap out. I'll probably get a couple different colors of FedEx because it feels a lot better. Um, but let me show you what the helmet looks like on. With the cam lock, it's just you push this little button right here. And you pull, and then the strings come back. But if you need to clamp it, you just pull. That's it. And then I can't pull that out. But I push the button again. The only thing I'm worried about is it popping off when I get hit. This is what it's like on. Uh, they did a pretty good job also too. It has like these cheek pads where the chin strap actually touches the cheek pad and, and makes sure it locks your helmet onto your face. So it's not moving. And then the helmet has two different bladders also too. It has a top bladder which is separate. For and then it has a back bladder, which covers your back of your head, which is separate. Because the top of my head is bigger than the back of my head. So I usually need the bladder bigger in the back of my head. But now you can control uh, how much you want for both sides. Because uh, I got a peanut head. <laughs> but for, again, so I'll do for the cam lock. And I'm in there, baby. Uh, you see I got the mouthpiece. Slide that in there. Ready to rock, people. But yeah, that's pretty much it, really. It's a great mouthpiece. I like it. Pretty cool. You can see the Oakley visor. Uh, it does have a natural tint to it. It's purple, also, too. Um, quick release tab. So if it's raining or something like that, you can take it off, or if you did get injured, they can take it off for you. Pretty quick and easy. Uh, the helmet does have a snug fit. This is a large. I feel like these run tight a little bit compared to the Speed Flex or something like that. Um, but they feel good though. Some people say it's a big helmet, but I feel like it's okay. And then all the lines and creases and all that and make up for it in styling for me anyway. And I like the face mask with the, you know, the bull horns on the top of it, too. You can get the same face mask without the bull horns. It's optional. I just thought it was cool. And then, like I said, um, I do have the other face mask also, too, which most people call the OG face mask quarterback 
a lot of people see wide receivers. Um, if I mainly just play quarterback and wide receiver, uh, I'll wear this face mask, you know. Um, shout out to your boy, Justin Jefferson. He going crazy this year. Rookie of the year, 1,000 yards. Uh, so, I mean, he wears the same face mask also, too, with the OP Prism. So, that'd be pretty dope. Wide receiver with the F7. So, look out for that. Real OGs, real... Real, real hitters where the US 7s, man. You ever remember that? Um, but end of the day, you got that. Got the VEDEX mouthpiece, Nike mouthpiece, and then also, too, if you go to my other video, you'll see I got the Razor shoulder pads, also, too. Um, they're pretty cool. So I go in more detail about them in my other video. Um, Tyree Kill wears these shoulder pads also at the same time. And Tyree Kill wears an F7 also too. Same face mask. And I think he wears a VEDEX. But he wears a, a, a Riddell chin strap though. And this just came with the Scut chin strap. So maybe I'll get a sports star because this chin strap is okay. Uh, but it's not bad. But, you know, you got the RZ7s gear tech. So you can get these online. They're about 350 before shipping and tax. But I'm in the best best shoulder pads i've ever had i mean they're so small you just buckle it it's like a car seat buckle right here you can see that put it in there pull it out it's not going nowhere and these are as small as you can get for shoulder pads and as light as you can get they're like having a bulletproof vest on but watch the other video if you want to see the review on that but i mean as you can see this kind of hell is comfortable i mean i'm not complaining i could do the video on this the visor sweet and actually the visor is meant for the it brings out the color in, in the football actually so you can see the brown in this football better than anything in the room um it's pretty weird how it does it i don't know how to explain it really but if you look through this versus a clear visor this football actually stands out the most so if it's in the grass or something like that you're supposed to be able to pick it up easier and you're supposed to get up be able to catch it out of the air easier you know there's stuff in the background like fans and stuff like that so that's really behind the method of the prism visor but they make a dark color one also too but i chose to get this one for now but yeah so uh that's how you take it off he's pushing the tabs like i told you again on the uh cam lock system it's really meant for the speed flex or the you know 360s and stuff like that who use the ratchet system this is supposed to be so you can use regular chin straps but i figured heck i could probably put that on this and as you behold i can only reason only thing other than that it spins a little bit but as long as the screw doesn't back out which the screw really has not backed out actually um it's pretty it's pretty good i guess you would say i can't complain at all definitely um so yeah but you guys see it, uh, when i bought the helmet it came with two sizes of cheek pads i put the bigger ones in because i need them because you know i guess i don't all the way need a large but i need a large at the same time the uh, medium was right on the cusp, and it was just too tight on my head. And it wasn't sitting where I wanted it to sit on my head. That was the main issue. I didn't want to look through my helmet at the top of my helmet or at the bottom of the bar right here. I wanted to be able to see and everything and sit down a little bit. So I'll pump it up. But, yeah, I put the sticker on there from uh, Green Gridiron Game that they send, us, they send an American flag to everybody who purchases an item over $5. So, I mean, that's pretty cool. But as you can see, I got my VEDEX mouthpiece hanging. So, can't wait to use it. The spring um, league starts here in April. We start training here actually in uh, next month in December. So, actually next week. So, um, tune in for that. Maybe I'll record that and show you how semi-pro practice goes. Uh, I know there's more than football he does the semi-pro segment and there's a couple other people definitely um i guess maybe i'm the only one who hasn't played football since like sophomore year of high school but i used to be sweet i guess you would say um just didn't want to play no more i play basketballs but i figure i'll hop back on the field crack a couple of heads um, i play basketball now so i mean I play all the time so i mean i guess i do have win compared to a lot of other people who will be playing but then again there's some freaks out there and probably semi-pro i'm guessing but I figured best equipment, better results. Might as well. Never had the best equipment growing up playing. I mean, I had the better equipment than, I guess, a lot of people who weren't sweet, you would say. Because, you know, they always got bigger shoulder pads and crappier helmets than others. But, so I had the best equipment definitely for that. But just, like, me, brand new helmet, brand new shoulder pads, that's a first for me. 
And I went to Wayne High School where uh, I guess you can say, I guess some big names went, like Tyree Kendall from Michigan or Braxton Miller uh, from Ohio State also too. Uh, so, I mean, I went to school with him and Tyree both. So, I mean, I mean I've been around legends definitely my whole life and, and hard knock football. So, I think I'll be okay in semi-pro. But there again is the F7 with the Oakley Prism Visor, as you can see, looking pretty as day. Back of it inside one more time the cam lock system if you're interested in it i'm sure it's probably not warranted you get hurt uh rz7 shoulder pads gear tech pro watch the other video if you're interested i got the back plate on there too from them they have two sizes they have a small and a large i chose the small because i'm a smaller player and i'll don't want a whole bunch of uh, material if I don't need it right now. So, um, but yeah, check me out, guys. Thank you.